My interest in electrical engineering goes way back. Before long, I was ordering books on electronics and starting to read it. And then, with the help of my parents, got a shortwave radio kit, a little regenerative radio that I built with my father's help, and started listening to shortwave broadcasts. And this was in the like early 50s, and I remember one of the things I picked up was a radio Moscow English language broadcast. Very subversive, if you think about it, with the climate in the early 50s. And so I chose electronics as the area that I would study. I did my undergraduate work at Rensselaer Polytechnic Institute in Troy, New York. And as a senior, I applied for and was very lucky to be awarded a National Science Foundation Fellowship. And I looked at that as a ticket to go just about anywhere in the United States. And I had heard good things about California. I don't think I'd ever been more than a few miles west of Niagara Falls. And I decided to come out to California and do graduate work at Stanford University. And I came out, fell in love with California, and fell in love with Stanford. <laughs>